I saw a, do it. I saw a Korean film this week. <clears throat> and oh, I don't you actually, didn't. I don't actually know how to pronounce the title. I'm going to probably murder it. And I think it's called Young E or Jungi. I'll just I'll spell it. You spell it J U N. Or as I thought, Jungle. Jungle. J U N G underscore E. So I think it's Young E. Yes, um, I think it's, it is. It's directed by Yon Sang Ho, whose previous work includes the zombie action movie Train to Busan. And it was the final unfo- uh, performance, sadly, of the film's main character, Kang Sang Yong, who sadly passed away um, in 2022. Um, to summarize the plot, basically, humans have been forced to leave Earth due to climate change and live in uh, colonies in Earth's orbit. And they're basically like identical to Halos. The Halos. Just. Bang on. Um, I mean, like Ringworld. Yes. So c- civil wars are raging within the separate colonies. Um, wars are being fought by AI robots. And uh, one colony feels like the key to winning this war is to upload the consciousness of a female military captain, Young Yi, who was famed for her abilities in battle. And she was acting as a mercenary to make enough money to fund her young daughter's cancer surgery. In her final battle, she was all but killed, leaving her in a coma. And uh, this is all kind of in the opening, so it's not really, it's just setting it up. Um, Her family had the choice to keep her consciousness alive as an AI. There are three types of existences you can have as an AI. So you've got type A, which gives you the same rights as a human, but it's phenomenally expensive. Um, there's a cheaper option, Type B, which prohibits you from certain rights, such as marry, uh, such as getting married. And companies are also able, it kind of, it's kind of like Facebook. So companies will buy your information. They'll they'll buy your knowledge. Um, oh, they can buy mine if they want. <laughs> and then you've got, you've got the free Type C, which basically it forgoes all your human rights, and um, you. You, you give the government full access to your consciousness and physical likeness, apparently, for whatever mean they ch- for whatever means they choose. And Young Yi is given a Type C, and therefore is being used by the government to conduct. That sounds like a game I didn't like of last year, doesn't it, Gadget? Hmm, a little bit. In- indentured mm-hmm. servitude in space. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does give off some kind of video game vibes, but I'll get onto that later. Um, not in a good way. Mm-hmm. Um, so fast forward, fast forward twenty something years, and her daughter, the one that was getting the cancer surgery, um, is the head of a team in charge of attuning her mother's consciousness for use in these battle robots. So a bit of a conflict of interest there, I would say. Um, but no, essentially, really. the film is a commentary on the ethics of using consciousness as, as AIs. At the core of this film is kind of an engaging and often emotional story. And I should add, there are it's maybe it's stage two mascara warning on this one for some parts. Mm. Um, what does let the film down is a couple of things for me. So, firstly, the pacing is pretty off. For like two thirds of the film, it just absolutely pl- plods. Um, it has an action-packed ending. It doesn't really feel like it's earned it. Um, just completely low stakes. You just you're not invested in these characters, and there are some really ropey visuals. Like the animation at times does look pretty dated, and the majority of the film takes place within just two or three sets. When we do finally leave those two sets, it it kind of screams green screen like it's sort of Star Wars prequel esque. Actors that have just been dropped into a computer game, it's it's not good. And with the I exception, with the exception of Kang Sung Yun, the acting is pretty poor too. I thought. Um, now I I did watch it subtitled for half the film, and for reasons I watched the second half dubbed. And because you were playing your Switch or a game, or you were doing something else, we know why. I was putting my makeup <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to I tonight. do it all the time, mate. Don't worry. <laughs> So yeah, I watched it so uh, so dubbed, and unfortunately, it's not the dubbing that does let it down. Um, one character in particular, in particular, is really, really over the top in his acting. Um, it is actually, it's kind of explained. It is, it is somewhat a plot point, but it's just I don't know if it, you know, it's a directorial decision to tell this guy to overact, or if it was a bit of both. But it's it's pretty off putting. Where it does shine through is, like I said, during the more emotional moments and the questions of the morality. Um, but unfortunately, it's just overshadowed by the points I made. 
So, I mean, it's it's fine. It's a bang average three out of five, I think. Oh, I'll avoid that one then. It, it jumped it jumped on the um, K-pop culture and the success of Squid Game and everything, but it's, it wasn't a winner for me.